All right, welcome back, guys. Um, if you're watching this video, it's because you are not satisf satisfied with just having the bit data from your sensor, and you want to actually convert it into something uh, that you and I can understand. One thing I'd like to note is I got rid of the import OS uh, module import that I had before in the last video. We didn't use it. I'm not too sure why I had it written in my script, but it was there. It's not necessary, so now it's gone. Um, so as I mentioned, uh, we're running a 10-bit uh, analog digital converter here and what that means is we're getting a value between 0 and 1023 if we were to get 1023 that means we're getting 3.3 volts if we were to get 0 that means we're getting 0 so what we can do is we can convert our bit value into voltage so I'm going to create a function here called convert voltage and into it we're going to pass our bit value and we're going to pass in how many decimal places by default to we want to round our value to. And this is going to be a function we'll call on. So we're going to want to say voltage, voltage is equal to, as I said, um, it's just a simple conversion between the bit value to something that we understand. So we have our bit value multiplied by 3.3 uh, divided by the float 1023. And so that is, is if we get 1023, which is our max reading, that gives us 3.3 volts, right? And then we can round it because we're dealing with floats here and we will round voltage. And we will round it to the number decimal places that we specify and then we will return our voltage easy right so now we can get our voltage but that's not good enough uh, we have a temperature sensor here and if we take a look at the spec sheet for our temperature sensor I'm using the TMP 36 which means we have an offset voltage of half a volt and we scale by uh, every 10 millivolts is equal to one degree Celsius so that means when we are reading 0.75 volts, we should be getting 25 uh, degrees Celsius reading. Uh, the length of your wires and stuff in your circuit will affect this uh, because you'll have voltage drop over the course of your wires. So it's good to keep your wire lengths minimum, um, but that's how we convert that bit value or that voltage value that we get into uh, real temperature in Celsius. So into our convert temperature, we're gonna wanna pass in that same bit value and we will pass in how many decimal places we want to round our value to, so in this case two. And then we're gonna call on the, uh, we're gonna create the temperature, and the temperature is going to be a function of the bit value, a ratio of the bit value. So if we convert it to millivolts, or not millivolts, this is like tenths of volts, and then we defined it by our, like, uh, so we convert like the bit value into a uh, percentage and then we subtract 50 from it and that's our offset that we saw in the spec sheet we get our temperature and in degrees celsius so temperature is going to be equal to round temperature by decimal places and then we're going to return our temperature Converts to degrees Celsius. I understand that some of my viewers may not use the metric system and you might want to use a different statement if you don't like Celsius because it's not good enough for you for some twisted reason. All right, so in our true loop, I'm just going to delete what we have here because we can write something that's a little bit neater. So let's get our light data and our light data is going to be reading from our light channel. We're then going to want our temp data, which is going to be get reading from our temp channel. And then we're going to want to do the conversions. So we can say temp, or sorry, light voltage is equal to, uh, we want to say convert voltage, and we want to pass in the bit value, which is our light data. And I'll just leave uh, decimal places at two temp voltage is equal to convert voltage temp data and then finally we want temperature so temperature is equal to convert temp and again we have to pass in a bit value so I'm going to pass in temp data so now we have our uh, information and we can now 
print all the things. And what we're going to print is first our light statement, which isn't terribly exciting, so we can say uh, light bit value equals, and then we're going to pass it in the float, and then we're going to say voltage is equal to pass it in float, and then specify that we are actually dealing with volts, and then we'll format that with our light data and our, what did I call it, light voltage. Next line. Oh, let's close the bracket. All right, next line. So we're going to print. Let's just move this over because then you can see everything. We're going to want to print temp bit value is equal to whatever uh, voltage is equal to that many volts. And then we're going to say temp is equal to degrees Celsius. And this time, we're going to pass in, I'm just going to break a new line here. We're going to pass in our temp data, our temp voltage, and our temperature. So we pass that in, give that a save. And we still want to sleep between our readings, so let's put it to sleep now. So sleep for sleep time. Okay, let's. Oh shoot, I saved it over as cookie analog. Oh well, uh, we should have saved this over as a different file, but whatever, cookie analog. It's going to be the same file. Valid syntax, of course. Because I didn't close the bracket there, we need another bracket there to close off the print statement. And so now we will run. There we go. See, cool, right? So we have our bit values, and that's what we were seeing before, like 100-ish and 218-ish. And then we actually have what the reading is and what the temperature is inside of my apartment. If I put my finger on the temperature sensor, we will see it is increasing. Isn't that cool, guys? All right, so now we have converted this into things that we understand for these two particular sensors. Uh, you can't follow blatantly what I just did because uh, your sensors may vary. Check the data sheets and that's how you figure out how to do all that math right there. Um, in my next video I'll show you, I'll explain to you what it is I'm doing here with the data from the analog digital converter. If you don't care, skip it. But if you do care and you're interested in learning how it all kind of works, uh, then that's what the next video is for. And I'll see you then.